Hey, ladies and gentlemen, how's it hanging? Good dog. Back again, once again. Um, I really had no plan to make this particular video. Let me turn that down. But I felt like, to an extent, given the content that I make and things like that, that there was somewhat of an obligation to speak about this particular topic. Um, there's a couple of things that you need to know about the good doc. Number one, I'm not detached, but as far as listening to mainstream media and news, I don't do it. People will probably ask me, doc, how did you not know about this situation? You're on YouTube. Most of the time, my YouTube uh, experience is more or less uploading, editing videos, putting them on my platform, and the only content that I normally get are things that are associated within my genre, or other things that I looked up. So this particular topic wasn't anything that was on my search radar. And as far as news is concerned on YouTube, I don't click on those videos. So when I really started to clarify and understand everything that was going on with this particular hashtag, it really rubbed me the wrong way. Like, it really rubbed me the wrong way. And for myself, I was like, why is this happening? You know, I was really trying to gather an understanding as to why. And for the life of me, I couldn't come up with any justifiable reason. Now, I know what they're saying about what's going on in the world or why people are acting this way towards a particular race of individuals, but it doesn't make sense to me. And maybe there's something I'm missing, but I've realized that the only way that I'm ever gonna like feel a, feel a little bit better about it is if at least I talk about it. So in today's video, guys, I'm gonna talk about this whole hashtag of Stop Asian Hate and everything that's been going on in the United States as of late, okay? So I wanna take you guys back to, I guess it was the early first quarter, second quarter of 2020. Now, everybody knows that at this time we were in the midst of the pandemic and everything that's going on in the world today. Whether you believe it exists or not, it doesn't really matter. That's what was going on in the world at the time the world was being affected by the fact that this is something that people had a harsh belief is really going to change the dynamic of the world or the dynamic of whatever area that you're living in. And many of you may remember specifically former president referring to this particular pandemic or this particular virus as the like Chinese virus. And even if you, uh, how can I say this? Even if, uh, whether you agreed or disagreed with it, if you go back to earlier articles about this particular topic or this particular virus, you would understand that it was literally labeled the Wuhan virus back in the day, before it was called coronavirus. I think a lot of people were referring to it as the Chinese virus or the Wuhan virus. So to hear him say that, it was, it was generally a consensus that because it came from a particular region, they were gonna label it that particular virus. So my question is to you guys, and maybe I'm missing something, but if you're really attacking a specific group of individuals, in this particular case, the Asian community within the United States, why are you doing that now? Why weren't you doing that back in 2020 when it was more prominent, in my opinion, than it is now? Again, there's no justification behind it, guys. I'm not actually justifying anything because it's bullshit. But what I'm saying is if you were going to attack people or to blame people or to say this is the, you are the reason why this is here, if that's the case, why wouldn't you have made that same statement or done these things back in 2020 as opposed to ramping it up in 2021? Because it's weird that you have these strands, right? The South African strand, the UK strand, and all of this stuff. I ain't heard nothing about no Asian strand, <laughs> you know? 
But yet and still, if I'm reading everything that I've been reading correctly, there has been a hatred towards the Asian community based off of the fact that people want to blame them for the fact of what we're going through right now. Again, there might be some missing links there. Don't judge me for it. I'm just going off of, you know, what I've been actually reading up on and everything that happened in Atlanta and all of that shit. So it's a crazy, crazy world that we're living in. All right. So here is where I have the biggest problem with everything. Okay. This is where the biggest problem lies with me. Okay. Full disclosure, guys, I spent a third of my life in Asia. If this is your first time ever coming to my channel, I should have done this disclosure at the beginning, but hey, no better time than the present. I've spent over a third of my life in Asia, about 10 years plus in the Philippines, and then a couple of years when I was a little bit younger in Japan. So I would say relatively about a third of my life was spent overseas in Asia. So. I have a deep connection with Asia. I like going to Asia. When I travel, that is normally where I like to go, in the Asian region. Philippines, you know, I don't mind Thailand, Japan, South Korea, and places like that. Cambodia, Vietnam, you name it. I, I fucks with that region, okay? So it rubs me the wrong way when I see actions like this taken towards people. More specifically, the fact that these people are attacking the elders of this particular community. That pisses me off more than anything. I'd be like, look, why don't you try that shit with somebody who knows how to defend themselves, somebody who's a little bit younger, somebody who know how to kick that ass with some karate and shit, not trying to be racist or anything. That's just truth. I want somebody who knows how to defend themselves, somebody who knows self-defense. I want to see y'all try to slap one of them. You feel me? But y'all ain't going to do that. Y'all want to attack older people from what I've been seeing or people that you kind of presume to be weak okay but i think outside of that problem of course where it really becomes a deep-seated issue for me is that i'm seeing my own do it or hating on the asian race as well black people ladies and gentlemen and i'm just gonna throw it out there i be seeing black people out there participating in this bullshit okay uh, my young lady sent me a video. This was months ago. And she's like, what's going on in the U.S.? And I was like, what the fuck you talking about? She sent me this video. There's this guy. Clearly tell he's an African-American brother. He, I think he, they're on a bus or something, and he just, like, punches this older, elder lady in the face and then gets off the bus or something like that. I said, let me watch that again. And I probably watched it about five times just to clarify that I saw what I saw. And I was pissed. I, I was very, 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 very upset about it. Because with everything that black folk have been through in the United States of America, where in the world do we get off as a race hating on another race? Are we just, where, where, where did this shit come from? You know, that's my thoughts. Like, where in the fuck did all of this come from? Where did all this hatred and animosity come from? Is it like the leader of the pack syndrome or some shit and you're just following the pack? Wait, where did this come from? Why do you hate them? Why are you participating in any type of hate crimes towards another race of individuals when you probably, we as a group or a collective have probably been shitted on the most throughout the United States of America? Now, I digress. I'm not going to sit there and make this about a black or white thing. I want to understand why my own are partaking in said activity. What is it that you gain from this? We ain't, <laughs> there's no forward progression with this bullshit here. There's no forward progression if you over here trying to beat up on defenseless old people. Or people that are presumed to be weak, presumed, I'm sorry, to be weak and can't defend themselves. If you want to take it back historically, Trust me, our, our rights, we came a long way to get what we got, and I'll leave it at that, but how is it that black people are participating in hate crimes against Asian people? That's my question, because 
if I had not seen it with my own eyes, I would have been like, ah, it ain't us doing that. That's what I would have said. Said it can't be us. But then when I started seeing videos and, it, and there's us partaking in said activity, that's when I got pissed. I was like, man, come on, bro. Really? 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 Oh, my God. And that's literally where I stand indifferent on all of this. This is where I get upset. Hatred against any race people, come on now, I, uh, that goes without saying. But when it's my own participating in the hate and, you know, beating up on people and, you know, fighting people or disrespecting and, you know, there's no winning, people. There's no winning in that. No cap. Because guess what? Let's say, let's say you accomplish your goal or whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. You know who they're going to go back to fucking with now? <laughs> Let's say you eradicate uh, all Asian or Asian Americans out of the United States. Never going to happen. But let's say you do that. Guess who's going to be at the bottom of the totem again? <laughs> Raise your hand. So y'all can miss me with that bullshit, man. Real talk. This ain't no PSA. This is just Doc having a conversation. As you can tell, it was all over the place. But I'm hurt. More so at the fact that my own, excuse me, as I said, man, there's, this, it incenses me that it's my own that's partaking in this activity, guys. I'm not saying that it's majority us, but it's the fact that it's us, period, that has me and my feelings about this whole hashtag stop Asian hate and all of that shit and people dying for no fucking reason at all. I mean... We're over here. Here's the here's the crazy part. We're over here protesting still, or we still are indifference about the things that happened to Breonna Taylor, the things that happened to George Floyd, uh, Philando Castillo, Sandra Bland. I mean, we have so many people that have been what we would like to refer to a victim of a hate crime or crimes against a particular race of individual. But yet and still, y'all seem to be partaking in the activities in which have been that we as a group have been a collect as a collective, I'm sorry, have been a victim of in the past. So tell me, tell me and tell me where the logic is in that. Now, I think only recently did people actually, you know, pass away from it, but people are being attacked because of their race. Okay? And that's a real thing. And that is that that enrages and incenses me altogether. I love being an American, ladies and gentlemen. I can't say that I agree with everything the United States does, okay? I love being where I'm from. It has afforded me a lot of rights, so I'll never sit there and shit on my backyard or shit on the place where I come from, but I have to be honest in my fair assessment. This, this, ain't, where, this ain't where it's at anymore, <laughs> all right? I remember when they were doing those protesting after, uh, you know, everything happened. I think it was just after George Floyd. Even they were protesting in my city. I was like, man, I got to get the hell up out of here. I said, shit about to get real. And since that time, it's only kind of steadily progressed. I've, been, I've, I've managed to stay out the way, keep my head down, keep it pushing, and just keep focused on what I do. That's why you don't, I don't really watch TV or anything like that. That's why I don't really pay attention to the news at all. My social media presence is minimal at best, and I do that for a reason. I don't want to be in the know about everything, unless I need to be. Half the time you can't trust anything that you see and or hear, so I stay the fuck away from it. But this whole Asian hate thing, this here got me in my feelings, bro. This one's got me definitely, definitely feeling a certain way. And like I said, it comes from the simple fact that I have been in Asia and I spent a lot of time in Asia and I genuinely enjoy my time in Asia. <sighs> So I'm pretty much at my wit's end with this whole situation, man. It's kind of like you just want to just go ahead and, you know, just write it off and keep it pushing and just get the fuck out of here. And now you wonder why we're so anal about wanting to get out of here. <laughs> That's your answer, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you right now, I'm just not trying to be around for this. I mean, it ain't going to never end. It truly ain't. So rather than sitting there 
trying to contemplate and justify and trying to explain everything that's going on, I'd rather just dismiss myself completely from it. All right. So I have no idea what this video represents. I have no idea what this video means to you. I just had to get some thoughts off my chest about the entire situation. Um, if you did enjoy the video, you could like it. I mean, this isn't really a video that is really about the likes or dislikes and all of that shit. It's just a person speaking his truth about, you know, hate crimes and shit against a whole group of people and the fact that my own might potentially be participating in this bullshit too. I don't feel that. I don't feel that shit at all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all, y'all take care. All right, I, I done fucked up my own in the introduction, man. I ain't even trying to worry about it right now. All right, y'all take care. Y'all stay blessed. Doc is out. Peace.